everyone once again welcome back to the new course today in this course i'm going to teach you that how you can integrate the google calendar into your laravel application so basically in this course i'm going to give you an example that what's the purpose of this course and why i'm shooting this out okay so let's imagine that uh, you have an uh, you have an application where you want to uh, enroll the new user and they want to create the events in your application and they also want to uh, create these events on their google calendar too so how you can integrate the google calendar with your laravel application to sync both things from uh, with the google calendar so if you want to access any of the fetch any of the events from the google calendar how you can access it through the laravel application so basically this video is about to uh, this series is about uh, overall Google Calendar, Google Login stuff, Google Calendar, Google Meet and so on things. Okay, uh, so very first step is we are going to create, we need a Google account or Gmail account where I will create the credentials for the developer purposes to use the Google login, right? So we need the master credential, one master account. Right, so I'm going to create this step by step guide that uh, it will also help you to create the developer account. Right, okay. The third one is uh, create Laravel application. So we are going to create the fresh installation of Laravel to start this series with the step by step guide and then end this uh, with the overall integration stuff. Right, uh, I will not do uh, any of this, uh, any of the concept right i'm going to uh, do this with the scratch okay fourth one is install laravel socialite so we will use laravel socialite for authentication of google right so hope you know about the laravel socialite if you don't know that's okay we will use this socialite and i'll explain everything it's very simple okay then fifth one is we will log in our user from their google account right we, uh, we need a master account and then user will logged in from their own google account right and they will access their own calendar right everyone have ability to access their calendar and create the events in our application and their uh, their google calendar too right okay then sixth one is uh, get calendar permission we will ask the user to please uh, uh, if you want to allow us uh, to use this calendar then we will use this right so we will add scope in the calendar uh, to access the google calendar right so basically it's a uh, permission to ask the user that uh, can i access your google calendar basically this our app is asking this question from the end user okay and then check calendar availability will uh, before creating any event we will check the av availability of calendar uh, for example i want to book an event uh, on today date and it's already booked so that's why we need the first availability that is this session is available right then i want to create the event otherwise it wouldn't be created and we will say that uh, what's the issue right okay and then we will move further to the create uh, creation of event we will create the event on the google calendar okay uh, then ninth step is fetch the calendar events we will fetch the existing event for example we have three events uh, on a specific date so how we can fetch those events from the specific date specific time right okay and then third one is integrate google meet whenever we are creating the google calendar events we require a meet link to join uh, join the meeting for example if you are holding uh, any of the event um, uh, of course and uh, when the uh, time came you want to join it to, from somewhere right so you need a google meet link you will also add this in our uh, events okay and then add guest in the event how you can add guest invitations right how you can invite your guest in your event for example if you created an event and you want to invite three guests how you can uh, invite these guests okay then 12 is move logic to the services so first we are going to uh, write the logic inside the single controller and then i will move further to the creating the new classes 
a new service class and then I'm going to move overall the calendar logic in there and if I have another one so I will move this uh, with the uh, move to the services for the simplicity and following the solid right and uh, that's it we are going to cover this from the step by step guide if you don't know anything no problem I will uh, my most of the series is about to uh, step by step guide so it will help you to do what I'm doing in the videos and it will also help you to uh, solve your issues for example if I'm facing any issue I will not cut this out and you will learn that how we can solve this so hope you will enjoy this full series and I'll meet you in the next one bye bye